。你好，同学们，我是陈老师。你好吗 ？How are you doing？ 我很好。I'm good. Recently, we talk about Unit Three. In Unit Three, we learn family members. We learn thirteen occupation words in Chinese. We learn how to ask and answer family members' job in Chinese. We learn how to ask and answer what do you want to be with job choice in Chinese. We know some basic knowledge about Confucius. We can say six workplace place words in Chinese. We can ask and answer family members' workplace in Chinese. We know basic knowledge about new jobs in China. Okay, so looks like we are finished. Yeah, we have completed the, uh, this week this unit. So now, then this week we are going to review unit three. Are you ready? Okay, let me show you how to do that. So in unit three, we totally have we can divide into four parts. We will talk about occupation. So we're going to review the words and sentences about occupation in Chinese. Workplace. We're going to review the words and sentences about workplace in Chinese. And what do you want to be? Yes, we're going to talk about this. The sentence in with job choice in Chinese, and then the last part we're going to reveal the culture. We're going to record knowledge about Confucius and new jobs in China. So on each part, Cheng Lao Shi will lead you to review the content, but after that, you're going to do the near part practice on your own. And、uh, yes, like I, we were going to review word sentences about occupation, and then you're going to do the near part practice. Let's see. You can find out which part you still need to practice. Am I clear? Okay. Now, before we start this lesson, let's have a warm up song. Take a deep breath. Chinese party. Mandarin in a way that beginners can remember. <laughs>
subscribe and why try to learn Mandarin and then just forget it the next day. Click on the link below to Chinese Buddy's online platform. Learn Mandarin through songs, the fun and easy way. And as always, guys, sing it, learn it, watch it stick, Chinese Buddy. Okay, now let's start today's lesson. The first part, occupation. Okay, now how do we say those occupation words in Chinese? Like doctor, student, teacher. Do you remember about it? Yes, I think you know about teacher because every day you're going to call me Cheng Lao Shi. So teacher is Lao Shi. Lao Shi. Now let's look at the words. We know Yi Sheng, doctor. Yi Sheng, read that me. Yi Sheng, Yi Sheng. Xue Sheng, student. Xue Sheng. Xue Sheng. Lao Shi. Lao Shi. Teacher, Lao Shi. Lu Shi. Lu Shi. Lawyer, Lu Shi. Chu Shi. Chu Shi. Yun Dong Yuan. Yun Dong Yuan. Yun Dong Yuan. Gong Cheng Shi. Gong Cheng Shi. Xiao Zhang. Xiao Zhang. Principal. Xiao Zhang. Xiao Zhang. Jing Cha. Jing Cha. Jing Cha. Shang Ren. Shang Ren. Businessman. Shang Ren. Shang Ren. Zuo Jia. Zuo Jia. Writers. Zuo Jia. Yan Yuan, actor or actress. Yan Yuan, Yan Yuan. Jia Ting Zhu Fu, Jia Ting Zhu Fu, housewives. Jia Ting Zhu Fu. Lao Shi, teacher. Okay, what about principal? Xiao Zhang. What about lawyer? Lu Shi. What about writer? Zuo Jia. One more. What about doctor? Yi Sheng. Very good. Hen hao. Now, how do we ask what is your mom's job in Chinese? And how do we answer it? When we ask the question is, 你的妈妈做什么工作? What does your mom do? 你的妈妈做什么工作? When we answer the question, we say, 我的妈妈是, maybe teacher, we can, we can say, 我的妈妈是老师, or we can say, 我的妈妈是医生, 我的妈妈是家庭主妇. What about if we want to know if if I want to know about your daddy's job, I can say, 你的爸爸做什么工作? What does your daddy do? 你的爸爸做什么工作? We can say, 我的爸爸, not mom, 爸爸是 engineer, 工程师, or maybe 警察, police officer, or maybe 校长, principal. So how how do we ask what's your daddy's job in Chinese? Yes, we just learned, we just practiced that. 你的爸爸做什么工作? We can say 我的爸爸是 something, the job. Okay, 我的爸爸是. 你的爸爸做什么工作? 我的爸爸是, maybe is doctor, 医生. Yes, 我的爸爸是医生. Very good. Now, let's practice near part. Okay, you're going to answer questions and take your time. Do not worry about it and just try your best. 